Morning, senpai. Yo. So are you ready for the trip yet? This guy won't shut up about it. <laughs> Yosuke senpai hasn't even started packing. He's all like, was that tomorrow? What's up with that? You are way too excited about this. I mean, you're even worried about how many boxes of animal crackers to bring. We're only gonna be there for two nights, dude. Besides, I'm pretty sure they have convenience stores in Port Island. Are serious? I've never really left this place, so... Huh. I wonder if the murders here got as much play over there, too. Like that Mitsuo Kubo dude. They're still showing him on TV here. Every time I switch on the tube, the news is showing, like, what he wrote in his yearbook. <laughs> Pisses me off, man. The freaking media is slapping together anything they can find to make the dude look like a born criminal. People think they can say anything they want about a guy who's been branded a criminal. It's just not right. I mean, I still hate the guy's guts, but I don't know. After getting involved with all this, I started to realize how off-base most rumors are. It's so messed up. Well, I gotta admit, the news can be pretty out there. Hey, it's Naoto. Yo, how's it going? Good morning. Uh, oh, yeah. I I'm on duty today. <laughs> well, see you later. <sighs> He's the messed up one. What's up with this place? This school's way too big. Wait, if we can't beat them on size, we're totally sunk. Well, <clears throat> next I will explain about our fine educational institution and the reasons for its establishment. I'd like to start with a proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Oh, is this principal in love with his own voice or what? Chie, he'll hear you. <clears throat> Our school is closed today. But uh, because of this rare opportunity for cultural exchange, some of our students will walk you through these halls. First, though, a student body representative will say a few words. Thank you, Principal. Welcome to Gekko-kan High School. My name is Chihiro Fushimi. I'm a third-year student and the student council president here at Gekko-kan. It's an honor to meet you all today. Holy crap, that girl's unbelievable. Yeah, you're right. She is cute. I gotta say, She's the most bewitching, bespectacled beauty I've ever beheld. You guys, stop overreacting. This is the first time our school has invited another student body for a true cultural exchange. To learn about others is to learn about oneself and is the first step on the road to self-betterment. This, I believe. To ensure a worthwhile experience for each and every one of you, we will do our best to help you accomplish that. So let us enjoy our time together. Thank you very much. She beat me in every category. All right. Everyone get into groups with your classmates. Oh, no. Excuse me, could I bother you for a moment? This is today's schedule for everyone. Could you hand it out later, please? I forgot to do it myself. Sorry to be so disorganized. And you all came so far. <laughs> Thank you. In fact, I didn't write the speech on my own. One of the former student council presidents helped me. 
She was the president my first year here, and she was amazing. I always looked up to her. I should call her later and tell her the speech was a success. Oh, I'm sorry. Listen to me going on and on about myself. I have to stop babbling when I get nervous. Um, your group is scheduled for a special lecture soon. The classroom is on the second floor. I have some arrangements to make with your student council, so please excuse me. Did I just hear her say special lecture? We came all this way to be lectured? Let's see, our class is... It's being taught by someone named Mr. Adagawa. The lecture's about... Kabbalah. Kabbalah what? You don't know? It's a casino. So, when's our free period? Uh, ooh, we don't get one. We have classes all through today. Tonight and tomorrow we'll be staying at a hotel. We'll have free time tomorrow and the day after until we leave at noon. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, guys. Let's focus on our studies for now so we can enjoy our free time later. All righty, here we are. The Seaside Clamshell Inn. 
We'll be staying here tonight. Is this really a regular hotel? So, what do you think? It was me who found this place. It just opened not too long ago. It's got that modern look. And the price was right. Personally, I think it was an excellent choice. We're staying here? I mean, the sign says hotel, but... It opened recently. Dude, this totally looks like a love... You there, don't just stand there. Keep marching in. Isn't there something funny about this place? Is there? We don't have these modern hotels in Inaba, so I can't tell. Um, this area is called Shirakawa Boulevard, and it's... That's all right, Rise. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> Faster than I expected. This is quite the hotel. If they were to meet me, I wonder, what would the look on Yosuke's face be? Oh, who's that? Look, up there! <gasps> it can't be. Teddy, what are you doing here? The lonely bear inside of me went stir-crazy. If only I could detect people in the real world. How'd you get here? Do you have some special ability? Eh, I took the train. I swore off topsicles and saved up the money I got working at Juness. I knew where you were going thanks to Yosuke's trip guide. You guys have free time tomorrow, right? No use hiding it. I already know. How in the world did you make it here looking like that? I mean, why wear the bear suit here? I almost got thrown in the trash a couple times. But I kept hanging on to the promise Chie-chan made to go on a date with me. That's what gave me strength to carry on. Uh, good job, Teddy. <laughs> did, did I promise that? <laughs> well, yeah, I do remember saying that I'd go out with you someday. Whee! You remembered, Chie-chan. Is it okay with Yuki-chan and Rise-chan, too? Let's all go together, then. Is that all right with you? Mm. It's a deal. I've been here before, so I'll show you around tomorrow. I guess we can go shopping first. And I know a great place we can hit later on. Ooh, shopping! That sounds great! <laughs> the other students don't know Port Island that well, so they're just gonna go wherever the school recommends. Well, I guess a shopping spree beats a factory tour. All right, we're in two. <laughs> Leave it to me. Now, before the fun starts, we gotta deal with this guy. Can't you sleep outside for the night? That suit should keep you nice and cozy. Cruelty to animals! You don't know how much trouble I went through to get here! I took the slow train all this way! Do you hear? The slow train! Now, now, you kids aren't bickering about your room allocations, are you? What's the matter? Oh, what's this giant teddy bear? Mmm, I see you like cute things. All right, now hurry on inside with it. By the way, these rooms are amazing. Every room has a waterbed. But uh, don't flip the wrong switch when you're turning on the lights, or your bed will start spinning. Anyways, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm exhausted. For so many reasons.
I gotta pee. Whoa! So this is a club. Woo! I'm totally ready for this! There's nothing like this back home. Is it permitted for high school students such as yourselves to be here? What? Dude, look who's talking. You were here before we were. That's right. I guess if the first years came on the trip, you'd be here too. The clientele here seems above board, so I don't expect there'll be any problems. Huh? You're leaving? Why don't you join us? Are you... asking me to stay? Uh-huh. We didn't get to chat last time. Uh, I... it's just that I had some matters to attend to that day. Well, you're free now, right? I was really eager to talk to you. I'm curious how someone my age is working as a detective. How about it? Mm, very well, if you insist. Huh? What's up? You look a little red. Th that's not true. Wait here. I'll go reserve the area upstairs for us. Okay. Wait, what? Reserve? Yep. Don't worry. I think I can pull some strings. Uh, <clears throat> What's wrong, man? Stomach pains? Mm, that ain't it. Are you sure this is all right? Isn't it expensive? No worries. Two years ago, when I had a secret show here, the power went out in the middle of it and the gig was cancelled. They still owe me from then, so they're willing to put this one on the house. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm gonna order more! Woo! I'm not gonna hold back either! Dude, you sound even weirder today. Oh! You're so cold, Kanji! <laughs> Kanji! 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 I conjecture that something's up! <laughs> That's a great one. Man, you're already in high gear. <laughs> conjecture? <laughs> uh, she's looser than usual, too. Hey, wait a sec. Are these liquor? Uh, I told them to give us soft drinks. They're non-alcoholic. Mm -hmm. I told them. Really, I did. Really. Oh, sheesh. I was wondering why it's so hot. Is this seriously booze? <laughs> but the smells... Times like this, adults play the king's game. It's the law. <laughs> What's their problem? They make me act like a dit, call me resent and stuff, and then say I'm a kid? It's so obvious. Those rap parties get a lot funner after I go home. Morons! I'm gonna play the king's game now, and ain't no one gonna stop me. Yet another side of Risa exposed. I wonder if she knows what she's saying. Kanji! Get the chopsticks ready. What? Why me? The king's word is law! Chop, chop! I it's already started? Um, what's this king's game again? Okay. 
One chopstick makes you the king if you draw it, and the others have numbers on them. The king picks the number and says what that person has to do. But who has which number is a secret until the king gives the orders. Senpai, you're such an adult. You tell him. Y Yukiko, where'd you learn this stuff? Come on, everyone draw. Okay, so... Who's the king? Teddy's is red! Red! Is Teddy the king? Uh, we're already doomed from the get-go. I, the king, command thee to smooch the king without delay! Smooch! S smooch? Please, God, grant me a girl. Number one! I'm at number two! No take backs! Smooch! Smooch! A bear's chastity. True love needs a sacrifice just for you, Sensei Teddy. Hey, not me! Oh, only the first round and two contestants have dropped out already. Huh? Is it that kind of game? On to round two! The king. Phew, someone decent. No crazy orders this time. That's not how it goes. If the last king demanded a smooch, then the next order's gotta be more extreme. T.A., don't be such a party pooper. <laughs> hey! The person who gets picked should have to rest their head on the king's lap. <laughs> nah, make him sit on his lap. Oh, or they could have to hug him. Better than that, a piggyback ride. Come on, king. Who's going to do what? There's three girls here and I get chosen? The king's order is... Absolute! <laughs> A piggyback ride? Not cool, man. Not cool. Ha-ha! Yeah! Uh, you've had enough, right? Please, show some mercy. <laughs> Me next! Me! I'm the king! Actually, the queen. You didn't even draw a chopstick! All right, then. Let's have someone talk about something really embarrassing that they'd never want to tell anyone. Hmm, let's see. Oh, no, Tokun! I choose you! She's breaking all the rules. Just ignore her, Naoto. No. No, that won't be necessary. One stipulation, though. If I do this, the rest of you must reveal something as well. Okay! No particularly embarrassing experiences come to mind. Would discussing my life be fair game? It's the rare situation like this that gives me call to speak of such things. Damn, way to kill the mood. The Shiragane family has been detectives for generations now. 
We lend our powers to the police from time to time. For generations? Wow, it's like that guy from a movie I watched before. What was his name? Kuzu... Noha? In days gone by when there were no crime scene investigators, consulting detectives were considered more valuable. Thus my grandfather still has a strong connection with the police and looks after me, despite my youth and inexperience. But investigators nowadays are well versed in science and medicine, so I must further my studies. That sounds tough. Uh, that's it? No punchline? <sighs> I fear you may be looking to the wrong person for that. That's so embarrassing. Isn't Hotokun embarrassing? I want to go home. <sighs> I'm sleepy. Well then, it's your turn now. Straight answer, please. What is your true involvement with the murder case? You know, you're so good at killing the mood that it's almost funny. Well, we go rescuing people who've been kidnapped by jumping into the TV. And then we do stuff like Persona! With our personas and beat the crap out of shadows. You idiot! <sighs> Are you making fun of me? It's true! Persona! Gee, someone put these two drunks to bed already. I see now that you had no intention of telling me the truth. But I'm curious. How did you become so inebriated? This isn't alcohol. Good one, Naoto! No, I confirmed it when I first entered. No alcohol has been served here since a rash of drunk driving last year. Huh? Does that mean we're all just drunk off the atmosphere? Who cares? <laughs> I feel so good. Good night! Hey, senpai! How the hell are we gonna get back with two passed out drunks? All this is giving me a big headache. Is this what a hangover feels like? Teddy's still totally okay! <laughs> Let's keep drinking till morning! <laughs> Bring it on. As I said, you haven't been drinking alcohol. Are you a pack of imbeciles? Mm, oh man, this is really something! This place serves the best ramen in town. When we were filming, a lot of times I came here instead of eating box lunches. Hmm? You're not hungry? Um, <laughs> what happened last night? I don't remember much about it. Oh, I think the two of us fell asleep quick. I heard it got pretty wild, though. I see. I don't remember at all. <laughs> Ah, this flavor never changes. I couldn't come here too often because it's high in carbohydrates, so being able to eat as much as I want is like a dream. Hmm, this is delicious. It has an interesting taste that makes you hungry for more. See? See? Another bowl, please. Keep the noodles hard. Um, I'll have the hug of curry bowl. The Haga Curry Bowl's a normal menu item now? Oh, I should have asked. Oh well, this is just as good. Hey, is it okay for you to be out in the open like this? Sure, no prob. See those signing boards? My autograph's up there too, but the cook doesn't give me a second glance. That's just how it is over here. Plus, I'm barely wearing any makeup. Oh, you're right. There's a lot of autographs on display. You know what I think? 
The reason they don't notice you is because this bear sticks out like a sore thumb. I guess if he wore that over here, he'll have to go home wearing it. Isn't it all steamy inside from the ramen? Huh? Where's my bowl? You didn't eat it, did you? You didn't finish, so... <laughs> I was going to finish it! Hey, didn't you just order more a second ago? How many have you eaten? I don't know how to count. You little liar, give me that check. Let's see here. One, two, ten bowls? Yuki-chan's makes it eleven. <clears throat> I was going to finish mine. There, there. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's close to the meeting time. Oh, already? I thought the trip was going to be a bore, but now that it's over, I actually had a good time. Hey, let's buy a souvenir at the station. I bet Nanako-chan will be expecting one. All right, let's get going. Come on, Teddy, we're leaving. Yo, hey, Ted. Don't make me rub your fur the wrong way, you little... Dude, hey, he ain't moving. Is he hibernating? Hey, don't, don't tell me. It's not because he's been in our world too long, is it? Are you serious? Teddy! <clears throat> My tummy's heavy. Leave it behind. I ate too much. Can't move. Someone carry me. I mustn't be late for our rendezvous. Please excuse me. Oh, Yukiko, wait for me. <clears throat> hey, I really can't move. And I don't have the money for a return ticket. Farewell, Teddy. We shall leave you here, along with our memories of youth. You're back. We just missed each other, huh? Look! My big bro got me a souvenir! Hey, nice! Did you remember to thank him? Of course! Huh. I guess that came out of your own pocket. Thanks. You went to Tatsumi Port Island, yeah? <laughs> I guess the city was no big deal for a guy like you. By the way, if the first years went along with you, Naoto Shirogane must have been there too. You talk to him much? He's mature for his age, but he's still a year younger than you. Try to make friends with him, will you? He's a cocky brat, but he's honest. The higher-ups are losing their patience with him. It doesn't matter if his argument holds water or not. At this rate, he won't accomplish anything but getting himself booted off the team. Adults can be a selfish bunch. Oh, sorry. You must be tired. 
Why don't you take a bath? Oh, but don't forget to take your stuff upstairs. Nanako, can you get the bath ready?